What's up, car community? This is Warrior Cards 65. I uh, had a kind of expensive day today. I went to do a couple errands and then wound up going to a card shop and then to a place called Cargo Largo. So um, at the shop today, I spent uh, around $60. Um, wound up with three old school hobby boxes, or maybe not hobby boxes, but three old school boxes I haven't ever opened before, some OPG stuff. Um, a few, I bought a box I needed for the set of 2019 opening day I, I completed, so I went ahead and wanted to get a new box to put that in. Um, bought some old school, like 25 cent packs, picked out some dollar cards, some $3 cards, and then a bunch of old um, veteran stuff. So then I went to Cargo Largo and they had a 20% off sale today and they're already kind of a uh, discount or, or uh, kind of like a big lots type of place. Um, and they have tons of cards there. Um, they have a couple different spots where you can find them. So I have a lot of stuff I can open uh, for videos and kind of try to put together some stuff. Um, my wife got the itch before we even started doing videos tonight and opened a couple of packs and I believe it was like the first pack she opened um, wound up with a rookie auto of uh, Fernando Romero um, I'll have to research him and see if he's any good but hey, not bad get a rookie auto in the first pack we got at that store so maybe we'll run into some good luck there so I wanted to do a recap of some of the stuff um, that I picked up today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and this is probably the nicest card I picked up today. Um, here in Kansas City, 2015 was amazing. Uh, and I got a Kelvin Herrera. Um, this is from actually Casey's Finest uh, Cards and Collectibles, something to that effect, over in Liberty. Um he has an $8 sticker on here. He had actually put this onto eBay. Um, I wound up paying $5 for this uh, patch auto, and it is an RPA from National Treasures, numbered out of 99 So $5 card, Kelvin Herrera. There's the numbering on there. And so if it focuses in, okay. And that's probably the best card I bought. Um, then I also, I pick up autographs of the old guys, um, occasionally this banister he had put on eBay, he asked for a dollar. So I said, yeah, I'll take it for a dollar. Um, banister didn't really pan out for the Royals, but he started out pretty nice. But I think the best thing I did was I went through an old, uh, vintage box and they were not the greatest cards in there, but they were saying they were going to make a pretty good deal for me. So, um, go ahead and kind of just go through these and, uh, got a John Riggins is why I bought this when I'm a KU fan. Um, Herman Edwards was our coach here. Uh, Ron Jaworski from the Eagles, but he ended his career as a chiefs quarterback back in 89. He had a card, um, Steve DeBerg. He got replaced by everybody. And then he came to Kansas City and nobody really good replaced him. But um, And then Bobby Hunt. This is, uh, as you can see, this is not a great card. It has tape on it. But um, he was a star with the Chiefs before he went to the Bengals. So this was actually a Bengals card, but he's former Chief. Um, so that's the extent of the football out of the vintage box. I think the newest stuff I bought out of that box was these 81 Fleer stickers. Andre Dawson, Willie Wilson, Ferguson Jenkins, Paul Splitorf, Rick Russell, and Bill Buckner stickers. Um, then I have a uh, 97 Cubs Prospects card. Um, none of them were especially great, but picked that up. Cubs team card from 78 tops. I may or may not have had, a, had that one already. Um, Cleo James, 72. Mike Hedlund, Jerry May. Joe Decker, J.C. Martin, uh, picked up a Clint Hurdle rookie card, uh, Freddie Potek, Stolen Base Leaders, Ray Burris, from Joe Wallace, Billy Harris, Glenn Beckard. Uh, picked up this 
Jerry Roos, uh, rookie. He used to be a coach in the Cubs system and his 70 rookie there. Uh, Roberto Rodriguez, or Rodriguez, uh, Milt Pappas, Bill Butler, <laughs> rookie. Not the Billy Butler, but Bill Butler. Um, Cookie Rojas. I believe I have this card with a in-person autograph on it as well. Uh, Lou Pinella. Ron Sano. Another Cookie Rojas, and I believe... No, that's not the rookie. We got Joe Necro from the Cubs. Don Kessinger. Okay. So this stack still is going to go for a while, the uh, vintage stuff. We got Ken Hubbs. Bob Will, rookie. Another Rod Sano from 70 tops. Uh, Royals team card from 73. Pretty poorly cut. Al Morris. Uh, Paul Popovich, Rick Monday, Paul Splitorf, that's all 73. Um, 69 rookie stars from the Cubs, none of them were really too great. Uh, Bill Buckner, Paul Shaw, Randy Hunley, Burt Hooten, Randy Hunley again, Joe Necro. Uh, we got this uh, Tom Seaver, Fergie Jenkins, and Bill Stoneman strikeout leaders card. Picked up a Willie McCovey, just because it's a Willie McCovey. Hal McCray and Bill Buckner. Um, I'll have to research this. Probably is not a rookie. It's his uh, rookie cup. And there's... I'm not sure how many more of these will be the vintage stuff. Got Leo DeRocher, Dave Kingman, Bob Lemon, Jim Hickman, Bill Buckner again. I guess I grabbed two of that one. That one's pretty rough. Bob Lemon... Tommy Davis, Bobby Bonds, Ted Abernathy, Jackie Hernandez, Tommy Davis, Ken Rudolph, Rich Severson, Ken Holtzman, All-Star, uh, 70 team card of the Royals, uh, Chris Zachary, Ken Holtzman, got a Larry Boa rookie. Um, he was the piece that was traded from the Phillies to the Cubs, and they got uh, Sandberg along with him. Uh, Gene Mosh was a manager in the or a player, I'm, I can't remember which one in the... I know he was a Cub in some way or fashion. So the reason I picked those all up is I paid $6 for that stack of cards there. So they're not in great shape, but I paid like $0.09 cents a piece for them. So that's, I think, the best purchase I made today, um, at least at that shop. Then I've got some cards. Uh, some of these were like a dollar. Um, Billy Butler, rookie card. It's uh, Turkey Red, numbered to 9.99. It's the refractor from Turkey Red. Uh, Eric Hosmer, Bowman Best, number to 50. Uh, Mike Avilas, rookie. Uh, not sure what what refractor that is there, but it's pretty nice. It's a red hot rookie. Um, Angel Barroa, number to 99, paid a dollar for it. He played for the Cubs a little bit too. Johnny Cueto, um, Bowman's best Royals card, 50 out of 50. Um, Miguel Almonte, he's not with the team anymore, paid a dollar for that relic. And then his uh, autograph, I paid a dollar for number to 99 out of Inception. Um, Eric Berry, Chiefs cut him, but numbered out of 149. So I went ahead and bit the bullet. I had a lot of Cubs, like Chris Bryant's picked out, and then he told me they were all a dollar each, and I thought that was a little steep. But um, picked up this Kelsey, number to two ninety nine. Uh, just liked it. Then I got some uh, three dollar autographs. Uh, Jermaine Die, really good career. I picked up a David De Jesus. He's a works for the Cubs uh, TV broadcast. He played for the Cubs and the Royals a lot of time here in the Kansas City. Number seventy five. Um, that one is from 06, let's be authentic. I got this uh, Hochaver prospect rook, or autograph out of Sterling, um, numbered out of 199. So it's a nice uh, refractor out of Sterling. Picked up a walking Soria. He wasn't always the most loved guy here, but uh, it's numbered out of 75. It's from Upper Deck Black from 2007. Um, which would have been around the time that he 
started being a, a Royal. I'm not sure what year he was a rookie, but it wasn't too far from then. And then this James Shields is a uh, number to 35 out of Topps Tribute. So that was a $3 autograph as well. Um, like I said, I, I bought a ton of stuff to open. Something that I always just kind of like to do is if I see anything that I don't have a lot of, I'll pick it up. Um, these were 25 cents each, and they're not really worth anything, but there's some old gum in there. Nice little piece of gum. Um, these are the, I believe they were the 89 uh, League Leader Minis. Not a lot of value, and of course there's gum stuck to one that I would actually PC, which is the George Bell. Um, I'm not going to chew that gum. I know some guys do, but I'm not getting paid to do that. I'm not getting paid, period. Um, so we got George Bell, Ryan Sandberg, nice. Andre Scalaraga, Mike Schmidt, and Alan Trammell. So uh, Trammell used to be a bench coach for the Cubs, so three of the five in that pack were PC cards. We got a uh, second pack of these. I actually picked up four of these, and I think he basically just threw those in because he didn't charge me completely full price on everything when, when I bought everything there. But um, it was, I mean, he didn't didn't take much off, but did cut me a little bit of a deal. Let's see one that some people would like here. We got Hershiser, Eric Davis, Rock Reigns, Gerald Young, and the last one is the Barry Bonds. So that's not too bad. There's a lot of people out there to pay a quarter for that. Okay. Third pack. Gum has only been stuck to one card so far. And now it's been stuck to this one too. All right. Come on. There we go. In those mini cards, they're kind of a mini stick of gum as well. It's not too bad, but they're definitely noticeable. Um, Kirk Gibson, Fernando Valenzuela, Mark McGuire, Tony Gwynn, and Dave Stewart. So, couple, Of course, most of these guys are going to be stars because they were league leaders, but um, not too bad. We got last pack of these, Andre Scalaraga, Mike Schmidt again, Alan Trammell again, Dave Cohn, and Oral Hershiser. I usually keep the cones um, with the Royal stuff. He was a Royal two different times in his career. So so that's that for those. Like I said, those were pretty much free. Um, I picked up some 88 Tops Big from him. Um, so these are quarter as well. Nothing just earth shattering is going to come out of these, but they're kind of fun. The only problem with these is I used to put them all in my, sleep, in my uh, pages and I'd beat them up. Of course, you got the uh, special offer here. I can uh, send this uh, $10 plus any three of these cards to get their shirt. I don't know why they even want that. They just want the $10. Come on. But anyway, um, we got Mike Henneman, Danny Tartable, nice royal, Walt Weiss, Atlee Hammaker, uh, Tim Laudner. Burt Blylevin, as Jabs would say, Hall of Famer. And Raphael Santana. So nothing great there. Tartable's nice. I don't think I had that. Uh, I got four of these as well, so we'll go ahead and finish opening those. And then I'll probably call it a day for this video. Okay, so... I'm one of these cards away from a t-shirt. All right. Juan Nieves, uh, Chuck Finley, Ken Phelps, Mike Moore, Kirk Gibson, Chili Davis. He was uh, one and done as the Royal, or as the, I'm sorry, the Cubs hitting coach last year. Team kind of fell way short of expectation last year. And this year they are... One under 500 as of today. Uh, you Darvish couldn't beat Grinky, which I pretty much could have told you that before the game started. 
All right, third pack. There's the T-shirt. All right. Um, Bryce, Brian Smith. Brian Smith. Uh, Eddie, Eddie Whitson. Darnell Coles. Matt Noakes. Ron Gant. That might be a rookie. Ron Gant rookie card. Woo. Mike Hinneman. And another Danny Tartable. Guess I needed two. That Ron Gant rookie might be the best card in this set. <laughs> I'm sure the McGuire or Bonds or something is the best card. But all right, last pack: Claudel Washington, Sean Dunstan. We got a Cub. Brian Smith again, Eddie Whitson again. Really, Darnell Coles, Matt Noakes, Ron Gant rookie card again. So pretty much a repeat pack there um just a little sneak peek at some of the stuff i picked up before we go uh, there's a little glaber rookie i got a lot of update um let's see she opened some of this stuff so i'll just give you a little preview got a chipper green parallel from 18 don russ you got Carlos Correa Mini from Allen and Ginter last year. You got the Masterpiece Mike Trout. Everybody loves trout fishing. You got a Arenado number to nine ninety nine out of this world from 18 Don Russ. And Mad Bomb, Gary Sanchez, Yon Moncada. Moncada, that would not be a rookie. I guess his rookies were 17. Um... So I guess we're going to call that it for today. Got a little pile to clean up here. And, uh, yeah, I've got stacks and stacks. I've even bought a bag of stickers. What the heck. So um, with that, look forward to putting out some more content with some more recent stuff. Uh, got a couple things opening day, or of uh, Tops 2019. A um, couple of the value packs of that i got tons of 18 update i think i have most of that set from pine tar um some of his grab bag boxes i got some football um uh, most of my stuff's been baseball so far but i bought a bunch of football fortunately all the smart people took all the 17 materials that had my homes in them but with that um hope you enjoyed the video and keep checking back keep subbing have a good one